All right, welcome back to the channel. Ryan Brath here, and I am with Paul, the Director of Tour Operations for True Temper. We are in front of their all-new van, and we're gonna give you a tour inside. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, so we'll, we'll, we're kind of the support tour on trailer. We obviously, the big companies, uh, their overflow bills, but most importantly, being the number one overall shaft company uh, in the world, for that matter, and on, on, on all major tours, uh, we're out here every week. We're kind of the NASCAR that gets them ready to go for the race, and we'll show you what we do. A um, lot of inventory in here. Come on in. All right. When it comes to like a, a driver uh, build, we can in eight minutes we can just you know have the tip glued on, done, ready to go, and he's hitting it in eight minutes. With the set of irons, you know the process is about 45 minutes. But I mean it's it's a constant project. I call us the large horse trailer, if you will. We're not the gigantic NASCAR style trailer that the, the club companies are. But we, this is brand new. Um, it was a year project. We've done some neat things and you know simple things with the marketing with the leather couch. Our old trailer, we could only sit, you know, four people. Now we can have six. The inlaid new logos with the True Temper hammers is pretty cool. Uh, you know, our lounge area has really stepped up. We have we have a 53-inch big screen TV. We have Xbox. So if the players are coming in, it's a rainy day, if you will. In in the beginning of the year on the West Coast, we had we had summer. You know, there was a delay, and the guys came in here, and you'd see the tour players. Like it's just fun to see them just being little kids playing golf and or whatever it is they were playing NHL hockey at the time and they were screaming and yelling and that's kind of what it's about I, I, our tour trailer as a support trailer I like to say we're kind of the cheers you know we want everybody to come in here and hang out and everybody knows your name and what we're doing it's so. the Switzerland of tour trailers that's right That's right that's a very good way to put it too it's we really are the Switzerland yeah yeah we are and we have the fridge and we have all kinds of stuff going on there and Sometimes after hours there might be a little bit different libation in there. I don't know, but um, and as you come in, everything's about storage space. You know, I mean, this is my locker, right? And I, basically, I need stuff to for cold weather. Now we're in Florida and it's hot weather, so I'm going to take this stuff out. And but I've got shoes, and so everybody has their own their own locker. And there's a team of four or five of us every single week. Obviously, we have a pneumatic gripping machine that you know the the clamp goes up and down. Before we had a manual clamp, and the small things having a pneumatic clamp, it just makes things look good, cleaner. What, what uh, is the workflow? Because I know, like for us at TXG, like when we, our our shop, like our build shop, is built to like step to step to step yes, to step. Yeah. And I noticed even already, like that's not a light duty shaft puller. Like, no, that it's is, that thing is that that is an amazing machine. That was actually this company, Golf Instruments, is in San Diego. And it's a, a aerospace engineering guy that does this. And um, there's cheaper versions of this, but this bad boy right here is all aerospace engineering materials, even from the from the bolts, you know, and the Allen wrenches and stuff. It, it, that thing will last forever. Yeah. But as far as like you say, for how you guys work and what we do, we kind of lay out, you know, a small production line, if yeah. you will. And then for us, the other thing is. Our, our past trailer probably stopped right here, and this was the work area. We needed to make this work area very, very large. And so if a player and a caddy come in here to do lofts and lies, as an example, we want them right dead center. Randy can still do work on one side, and, and my other guys, rookie or, or whoever can do work on this side. This is new to us, too. This is a frequency machine for our composite and all graphite stuff that... Um, Cool clubs help us get, and, and Gavin with Acra was was in, influential in, in some of the design of this. And obviously, tour tolerances out here need to be extremely tight. So what my you know my graphite guy rookie will do is he'll he'll frequency a, uh, a, a let's just say you know three green hazardouses for one player to get the tightest tolerance. You know, so that's a neat thing to do. And it says you go around. I mean, obviously. Um, we've got our nooks and crannies. We call this the office side, right? So we're, as new as this trailer is, we're still getting things organized. We just put these in. Um, we'll have that full of, of, of OEM products, you know, with the Pharaohs, and we're still, you know, here's a, we just, you know, we got, so that we can do all the building, right? Swing weight machine. As you go, obviously, our flagship of uh, what keeps us alive is steel, right? We've been the number one steel company for, and the only American steel company. Our competitors are not made in America. And um, I mean, from S4, it kind of streamlines to S4, X100, 
Project X 606570. Then our newer parts are, are on this end, DG120, our new tour mid part, uh, AMT, which is a you know the sending mass technology. This just got cleaned out. So every week, every other week, we're gonna fill it back up and, and, and send out inventory, but for, from the Bay Hill this week. I wanted to ask about that because one of the questions I get all the time, Mike and I do like Instagram questions, you see it on our, our, our YouTube page yeah. as well in, in the comments. Why, from your opinion, is the S400 such a popular wedge shaft for players? Is it a feel thing? Is it a weight thing? Is it like, does it all just come together to be like the perfect wedge shaft? Yeah, okay, so two part to that. When I think about our flagship lines in steel, it's Dynamic Gold and Project X. Totally two different animals, right? When it comes to Dynamic Gold and X100 and S400 in the wedges being so dominant, I mean, 80% of the bags out here have S400. There's a lot more in your sand and lob wedge. There's a lot more half and three quarter shots, right? So there's more feel shots. We get too stiff and you don't feel any, you gotta have a little bit of a load and a lag. You gotta be able to feel it. and. I'd say we've helped a lot of tour players that are X100 and throughout the bag go to S400 in their wedges, you know, so they can do those half and three quarter shots. It's, that's our goat, you know, it really yeah. is. It's the goat of wedges and then the X100 is the goat of irons. And so uh, to answer your question in a two part, that's kind of it, you know, it's, it's, it's such a feel, feel part with load and release. You know, if you look at, if I was to if elaborate a little bit farther and you just look at the, you know, the tip section on, sorry, 37 inch, 37 inch. If you look at the tip section on these dynamic goal, it's almost, there's a full, X100 has a full step pattern of reinforced tip with a step, stiff, more feel in the S4, the step pattern goes farther down to the grip to start with, so. Um, that answer your question? Guys? It means I've been answering the question all right then. That's good. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it is, okay. it's it, the feel thing and it's just like a comfort level because especially in the short game, you're talking 56 and 60 degree wedges or those higher lofted wedges. Right. These guys, it's not a full swing club, very rarely, right? It's, it's a here to here and it's not a quick transition. It's something where it's kind of more of a progressive load. So yeah. that's what I was really and, curious. And to. in your guys' world, in that whole fitting world, it's, 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 I've been on tour a lot of years and I've watched the progression of what you guys do and how, you know, it transitions into the day-to-day -day player, but the same concept happens. The fitting process is so much better now and the stuff that you can learn from the tour you can do with with, with the average player and the amateur as well, so. Yeah. All right, so on the so build then, side here. So yeah. then, you know, this is Randy's side. So, I mean, obviously these are, this is stuff that you guys, we've, we've got, you know, the air filtration system so that the graphite dust is not, we're not breathing it. But something obviously very simple, you know, from the saw to the sanding belt, trimming ferrules and sanding and so forth. I mean, and then, you know, like, I think one of the coolest things I always say is, you know, just even from the standpoint of, you know, So it's laid out to where if he's doing a set of irons, you know, before we had a big island in here and it just makes more sense. We're, we're, we're club builders, right? I mean, we're not here really to do anything other than support the players first and foremost. So we've made this whole work area a lot more spacious. So got saw the steel stuff. Now you can see in the new line of stuff that we have, RDX Red is just killing it out on tours, all tours. We've got the RD, new RDX Black. Already, this is all the all the graphite, you know. And so there's the composite stuff of green, the new RDX blue, um, and then you go down here and you've got some of the older stuff, right? There's and then the Riptide line. So I mean, in a nutshell, that's that's kind of what what we have. Um, you've got to have a drill press to to bore out heads when we're building irons. We do a lot of irons. Give you an example, if TaylorMade's overflow is super busy and they've got X player, they'll, we have all of their specs in the spec book and, and on our, our, our iMac Pro, we have a database there and so we have all the player specs. They trust us to build the stuff for their players that they're contracted with them. So it's a, it's a really a really rewarding thing, this tour trailer, to help them get to the finish line of winning golf tournaments. Wait, backups is another one as well? Absolutely, backups are key, especially with traveling nowadays. 
One of the biggest things that's happened in the last 15 years is obviously having woods yeah. with the sleeves that they can take them off. It also means for traveling. We make sure every player has a driver always, right? Because the driver's the longest club in their bag for traveling. Try to tell players, take that head off. That's what it's for, you know, let's save it. But everybody has a backup for sure in their woods. Um, when it comes to irons, you know, they're, I'd say the average tour player goes through two or three sets a year. They wear out the grooves in the, in the, in the short irons pretty yeah. quickly. So um, we don't necessarily do a lot of backups in irons, but, but for woods, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the one thing I know is like being in, I call it the Northeast, in Canada, there, yeah, in yeah. Toronto, like yeah. it's soft. Like there's not a lot of sandy soil. Yeah. And you come down here and you spend a little bit of time hitting balls and you're like, yeah, you could wear a set of irons yeah. pretty quickly around here. Yeah. It's, it's very different just from the soil, so I understand why Absolutely. that's such a big thing. You know, you, you, it, it key in on another point, wedges, definitely wedges. They Guys, these, you know, I always say we spoil them out here, so they know there's a fresh set of wedges waiting for them when they're ready, but to your point about the sands and the different sand textures around the United States or the different, you know, turf under the soil under the turf, a lot of these guys, when they're fresh, they'll go in the bunker and hit 100 shots to get it where they want it, yeah. and then they wear out, and so in three to four months, they're getting another set of wedges. <laughs> so that happens for sure. Yeah. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the look inside of the all-new True Temper Tour trailer, the Tour Support trailer, where everything from irons to wedges to drivers gets built for all the players out on tour. And uh, Gussie, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. Play True Temper.